It's time to do 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 I'm drafting every set with four of my stupidest friends. We'll ban cards as we go. Now let's rip off Simo's show. We are the champions, my friends. And we really deserved that one. We simply outskilled our opponents by opening two said when they didn't. I mean, what can you say? It feels good to be on top. Folks, today we're opening Rise of Destiny, and Rise of Destiny is a very interesting pack. It's got really strong cards like Thestalos, the Firestorm Monarch, the Creator, and Divine Wrath. But more important than Rise of Destiny is the fact that the metagame has irrevocably shifted. You saw last week we didn't really know what we should be playing, and this week we've had a little bit more time to test. I've come up with three possible options. First is to integrate Danny's style of deck building into a deck that's actually good. I think that we have the enablers for a legendary ocean. While we lack Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, we do have stuff like Seven Colored Fish to help fill that role, as well as a ton of really sweet five-star normal monsters were on three apiece of Gaga Gigo and Terror King Salmon. Secondly, we can play a version of what Leah's playing. If you saw her deck at the end of last week, it's a proto-dragon monarch list using stuff like Troop Dragon to facilitate the necessary material for Tribute Fodder. Now, we don't have very many monarchs. No Jin so, no, I don't know, uh, Thestalos, no Mobius, but we do have all of the other stuff. We could very easily put together a really strong list that flexes Masked Dragon into something like an Element Dragon boosted by Homunculus the Alchemic Being also found in the set. That gives us a copy of Stamping Destruction, which is the premier spell and trap removal this format. And finally, we can play Chaos Good Stuff. I have a list that is okay, we have three copies of Chaos Sorcerer, and if worst comes to worse, we may be jamming that. But a lot depends on what we pull. So without further ado, let's start. 24 packs, beginning now. Ooh, so a lot to talk about right off the bat. Harpy Lady 1 is a really good card. It might not look it, but this card's a 1600 that gets even better in multiples. Moreover, Harpy Lady 1 is a fantastic piece of synergy with Harpy's Hunting Ground, another really strong spell and trap destroyer. And thirdly, she's a wind monster, which turns on Element Dragon. Back to Square 1 is a great piece of removal, and Mirage Dragon is a decent dragon if we want to go that route. Okay, uh, Fusilier Dragon, the dual mode beast, would be better if we were playing in a format that included skill drain, but because we're not, I think this pack is a bust. Nightmare Penguin is a sweet piece of removal we might be playing. Oh my god, I forgot Raging Flame Sprite is in here. Oh, crap. Oh no, and level limit area B is legal. Oh, shoot! Oh, we might have to play that. I don't want to, though. Really? Our super rare is... Hikaru's Circle of Enchantment. Oh, come on. I was hoping for, I don't know, Thestalos. Okay, there's our first Homunculus. We need at least two more of those. And right on time, there's our second Homunculus. We've also got the Creator Incarnate in here, so we might be able to find the Creator and make something happen. <gasps> oh, holy shit. Get a moly, holy cover card, Batman. Oh, I have to play this. Oh, it's not good, but I have to play it. It's so fucking funny. There's Harping who's hunting ground, but wow, I mean, ah, it's, it's just not very good. We have our playset of the Creator Incarnate. There's our third homunculus. Woo! Okay, I was gonna be a little mad if we never pulled a monarch, but the Stalos is a pretty good one. Ooh, and Dark Blade the Dragonite is a very important pickup. It is the best possible summon off of Magical Scientist. So a pretty good reason to include him in our deck again. Oh my. Oh, that is a thinker. Two Thestalos. 
Is that enough to play Monarch? We don't have a Jinzo. We don't have a Mobius. We don't have a Hades, even. There's a Dekoichi, a generally very good card. We'll probably find room for it. Hmm. So unlike previous times, we've opened pretty well. We have all the Nightmare Penguins we want, all the Homunculuses we want. That enables the Dragon deck. We have the Creator Incarnate at 3 and the Creator at 1. If we can find a way to get Creator into our hand, that would be fantastic in a Chaos strategy and also shore up the weakness of having to play bad light-type monsters. But double Thestalos, can I really pass up the opportunity? So here's the list, and that's right, it's Creator Chaos! Oh man, I'm excited to drop this on my friends. Now, unfortunately, this means we aren't playing a Legendary Ocean Turbo, nor are we playing the Dragon deck. Both of those are really good, and I think the Dragon deck may be much stronger than this one. It has a lot more answers to spell and trap cards, for example. But I can't pass up an opportunity to play this card. Come on. We've got some really great stuff going on in here, and we still do have three Chaos Sorcerers. Said or no said, we will be banishing cards. We've got three Chaos Sorka copy of Dekoichi. Fantastic pickup from this set. It flips, it draws a card, it's got 1400 attack. What more do you want? We've got two Magical Merchants, still one of the best cards in my deck. We've got a Magical Scientist. I could be playing two, but I went back and forth so many times. This card got a lot better because, of course, of our extra deck pick up Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. When he inflicts battle damage to my opponent, he can banish up to three monster cards from the graveyard. It's kind of like Kaiku. We've got a copy of Mystic Tomato, two Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, fantastic card, a copy of Sangan, a Spirit Reaper, a Swarm of Locusts, the Creator himself. Now, remember, Chaos Sorcerer can only be special summoned the first time by banishing a light in the dark times two and three you can just bring him back with the creator and then get to banishing we've got three copies of the creator incarnate i would not be playing the deck if i didn't have these and the light is fantastic for our chaos mon we've got a sukiyomi and double zombie or the dark probably time to bring this bad boy back as our opponents are probably going to be setting a lot of cards and this guy runs over everything we've got two copies of different dimension capsule it can still get pot of greed and more importantly it can get the creator the only card that it's difficult for us to find we've got econ we've got two hammer shot we've got my body as a shield back in the deck i know there are less cards that destroy but i really don't want my creator getting bottomless we've got nobleman of cross out double pot of greed premature burial double smashing ground a swords of revealing light two bottomless trap hole two mind crush and three trap dust shoot in the extra we're playing just a bunch of light and dark monsters but most notably dark blade the dragon knight uh dark flared knight and dark fire dragon for lights we've got a much more meager pool but guilt of the d knight does get it done so very excited to be playing this deck unfortunate that we have to jam chaos after said was banned but this is so nutty that i have to try it at least once before we get blasted out of the water and back onto dragons for next week Danny, <laughs> you just gonna come out swinging like this? <laughs> That's all I can think about, baby. Oh, POV, your deck contains malarkey. <laughs> Wait, is is McConnell in this photo too? <laughs> yes, yes. It's one big team, and you ain't on it. Oh, no. oh God. Please tell me we're recording. Please tell me we're oh, recording. We're rec oh, this is making it in for sure. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Holy Ooh. walker. Mode. All right, I'll play RPS so that the people can see it. Oh, my God. All right, uh, Danny, you're going first. Good luck to you. Now, I, I got to ask, Woo! you both have the card pools for it. Is it going to be the Legendary Ocean Mirror? normal summon ninja grandmaster Ooh, come on we can't be playing good <laughs> cards these days i know right, i know right. i hate it i hate it too good luck have fun by the way danny g l h f all right uh are you gonna jar robber me oh i wish this card by the way yes. this card is not making it out of this week <laughs> missed, missed potential, yeah. everyone. Jaw oh, robber. I'm telling you. It would not be I'm the start you. of the game without a pot of greed. How many? What uh, do you think? Yeah, where's mine? How many pot of greeds do you think we're going to see today? Gavin, you got a guess? Uh, I'm going to say we're going to see four pot of greeds today. All right, lock in your answer. Four pot of greeds. Four. That's pretty good. It's one per game. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Um, maybe one more. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> crud. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Danny, oh, I am begging yo. you. Flip Zin Zen Hue. Go ahead. 
Uh, gee, I don't know. We'll try for it. I will sack it. Okay, we'll... Will my body? Yep. Nice rip, nice rip. That's fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's Baby Horse. Ooh! Okay. Yes! Oh Let's my go. god. Oh, here we go. So, last week, Leah used Baby Horse to immense effect. It ate a removal spell. And this week, <laughs> it has eaten an attack. Just an unstoppable force. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll set one more. Go ahead. Ready. This is, this is crazy. Riveting This is the least action that I've seen Ever. Oh yes. I'll okay, this is not the least action you've seen ever, Joe. We, <laughs> yeah, we played games that are much less actiony. I, I played against Kaiser Coliseum, and I ended my turn <laughs> nine times in a row. Uh, I just I edited that episode. You did not end your turn nine times in a row. You ended your turn seventeen oh. times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, and my turn. That is that is Danny's own fault. All right, let's uh let's giant trunade. Oh! <laughs> this is a max sure. value giant trunade, by the way. Pick him up, 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 pick him up. So for what it's worth, I mean, all we've right. all been complaining about like the spell card, trap card based stun decks. Half of us have three of this card. Like we could just be playing this shit. Uh, I don't. Oh, I, I, I would have been, been playing, playing it. I've been, it was a it was a rare or super when it came out. I've been playing it on the weeks I haven't been playing stun. It's better for your Call of the Haunted or your um, scientist. Okay, sure, sure. All right, I'll summon a fun and exciting uh, new monster from the set. Dark yeah. Blade, the Dragon Knight. <laughs> this is Purple Kaiku, Ooh. right? Cool. It is, it is Purple, purple Kaiku. Kaiku. It's, it's actually significantly better than Kaiku. Um, and he will uh, just hit in there. This card is sure. not better than I'll Kaiku. Take 300. Well, I uh, mean, nope, he banishes three yeah. instead of two. Well, Kaiku also turns instead off banishing, of so you can't summon, like, Chaos Orc. Well, that's fair. Okay. I'll set a number here. <laughs> um, I will end my turn, returning him to the extra, and pass okay. it back. I will dust shoot you. Ooh. Oh, because sure. you added all of the spell traps. That's pretty cool. That's funny. stupid. Oh, I should be playing oh, this. That's so Jesus funny. Jesus Christ. Wait, Jesus Christ, Danny's hand. It's <laughs> this hand. All right. So you want to know why he hasn't been playing monsters? It's Sakuretsu. I'm drawing a lot of mm -hmm. spells and traps. Sakuretsu. My body smashing to chaos arc. Well, you know that so, well that does oh, explain and it. Book of, and the book of moon. Okay, I'll shuffle back one of the chaos sorks. All right, so you can set all five of those down. Yeah, I wonder what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right, now Leah flips Zing Zen Q. Yeah. <laughs> the, Z, Zin Zen Q is a Leah card also. So she could be on it. Hey, how is that a Leah that card? Is, that is big Leah energy. Leah card. I'm going to Okay, listen. <laughs> If you think that Zin Zen Hue is high key a Leah card, just just let us know. Isn't the card that that just that's Kaiku? Is it a dragon? Yeah, it is a warrior. It is a warrior. It's not a dragon. Oh, it's not oh, a fuck dragon. Fuck me. Okay, well that's good. Go ahead. Woo! All right, Leah. Well, you Kaiku. trap dust suited me. What did you expect? Leah, activate oh, scientist, Kaiku. tribute it for Thestalos, and take the other Chaos Orc. <laughs> yeah. I am going to activate Scientist. Sure. Oh, wow. So let's do that first. Oh, you have Senshi. Um, we'll bring out Moki Moki King. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. All right. Uh, we'll just summon Horus. Sure. It can become Horus level eight. Ooh, you know sure. I don't have that from last week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this true. is pretty interesting. So this beats Smashing Ground at least. It is time to gamble. <gasps> I is Sakuretsu armor. I will chain Book of Moon. Oh. I will just flip him back up. So stamping destruction um is generally the reason to play the dragon deck. This card's insane. This is unbelievable. So it's just good. MST plus five hundred damage. And as it turns out, the insane part is that you can play MST in your deck. Yeah. That's it. 
Yeah. You can just play MST in your deck. <laughs> and there are, like, decent enough dragons that it's on enough of the time that, like, if you build your deck with respect to it, you just get to get a free win versus Gavin. I think you have to respect the stamping, and in that, I think stamping is good in that it affects the format. I'm not, like, sold on playing it. I will you, say I'm. You I'm, do have to warp your deck around it in order to justify it, yeah. but there's now playable dragons. So I will say personally, True. I believe the dragon deck is probably the strongest thing in the format, uh, outside barring like control nonsense that someone's thought up. I really wanted to hit Sakuratsu with that, so I will bring out Ryusenshi. Boo, sure. boo. All right, you know what? I'll I'll gamble again. Let's try a stamping <laughs> this one. <laughs> sure. I wanted to hit both. I mean, you have Ryu Senshi out. I don't know why you care now, right? All right. So now let's go to battle. We'll uh, attack with Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level six. Sure. Ooh, we will attack with. Uh, oh, will we attack with Magical Scientist? That's an. Oh yeah. Wait. Of course we will attack with Magical Scientist. Oh, trading it for a sack if you want. Yeah, Danny says, "Fuck you." I well, if I trade it for a sack, you'd be pretty happy. Board. <laughs> well, yeah, trading it for trade a thousand. It for a sack, yeah. Then there isn't a sack that kills Horus. So, yeah. all right, Sensi goes back. Sensi goes back to the extra, and I'll pass it back. Konami with its all woke right. performative BS. Why it gotta be Sensi? What happened to Sens? Sens he them. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to all my Ryu they she's. <laughs> I believe it's send checks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this one makes it in or if they're going to think that we're chuds. I know. It's so funny. Like, we make a lot of gender jokes, and there's a very thin line between it's based and there. it's the same joke as if you were a chud. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a lot of our jokes are like, I sure hate women. This <laughs> is interesting because... If I keep doing the Senshi play, my life can get very low very arbitrarily quickly. I think I should probably go for this, though. We'll uh, pay 1000 for <laughs> Senshi again. If I sure. keep paying for Senshi, I might bleed out. I'll pay for Senshi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, summon Twin-Headed. Oh, wow. She's going for it. Battle phase. We will have mm -hmm. Senshi attack. It is Night Assailant. Ooh, that is interesting. Ooh, okay. You gotta kill magical sci magical scientist. Is this is the such a big turnaround, right? Because like Night Assailant hits Horus probably. Danny takes eighteen and goes to seven, which sucks. Like don't don't want to you know overstate how bad that is. But then has the dark and the light in the graveyard for the Chaos Sork, and like this board doesn't interact with Chaos Sork very well. Okay, so um, I will attack with Twin Headed still. Sure. All right. I don't think there's any point in attacking with Scientist because you're still dead to Twin Headed. So I'll move to main two and he'll go to defense. Senshi will go to the extra and we will set one card and pass it back. Wow, this is such a close one. My God. This is a good one. This is so close. Ah, I, you know, I love Danny and I hope that he wins, but I, I would hate to see the, uh, the dragon deck go down so quick um cool interactions this game too as yeah. it turns out when you're able to interact with your opponent cool <laughs> things happen i want a quick shout out to Ooh. ryu senshi who has been saving your fucking behind ryu, ryu senshi has been i was thinking about cutting scientist from my list this week because it's just not a dragon it's just not yeah. part of the game plan but he's such an ins a bonkers card see how danny can it's joe biden off. his way out of this one <laughs> he's gonna i'm gonna knock you out king uh, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke in this analogy is Pete Buttigieg. Night Assailant is Amy Klobuchar. Uh, <laughs> it's 7 p.m. on Super Monday. We're a uh, banishing magical scientist who really does kind of look like a young Bernie Sanders. We'll banish Twin Headed. Yeah, fuck. Okay. And we'll smash and ground the scientist. Wow, that's so cute. Oh. Yeah, okay. This is it. This is the turn. That's a, that's a 2300. Okay. All right, go okay. ahead. Any monster does it. It's a weird position because, like, Leah could also have drawn Sack, and then we have to play around that, but we can't really. Sork having the restriction of face up is just so huge. And also, it's very funny that now that we've banned said, the chaos monster is almost fair. Sork is 
very mm-hmm. powerful, but it, in a way where it, you know, there, there's a variety of answers. Its stats are very specific. It dies to every monarch. Right. But it is really, really stinking good. Oh, of course. Um, if that. Chaos does really, you're not attacking. I'm not attacking. Ooh, respecting the sack. My hands are sweating. <laughs> this is this is game one, by the way. This could honestly, this could be finals. Fuck. Last week, our first yeah, games this... were like Brent on huge revolution turbo playing like Danny, who has never read an effect monster in his life. This this game we're like hey. down to the wire, like sorking for the one out. Oh, Leah passes too. We will dust tornado. Ooh. Targeting this. Yep. Uh, okay. It is Divine Wrath. Oh! Yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, and All she right. kept the card in monster. For it. Oh, that's it! Oh my god, that's it! Uh, it's Kaiku? You didn't know that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no one knew. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Oh. Wow. Uh, Extreme yeah, that's set. it. So, so there was some fuckery there. So Divine Wrath was my out to Chaos Sork in that instance. But I, my hand was empty, so I held the bottomless because I wanted to have you not draw a monster, kill Kaiku. Next turn, I draw a monster, I summon it face up, and then I hope that you activate Sork. My other out, and I yeah. was thinking of doing this, was just flip Kaiku face up <laughs> and just hope that you Sork it for no reason. <laughs> Which... Time for game two, we have got Gavone, who lost in finals playing KC Control versus Brent, who was... <laughs> I mean... I'm not playing KC Control. You you were playing a deck, Brent. You uh you were playing a deck. Are you are you Let's playing go. a deck today? Um... <gasps> it, it's not like last week. Oh, okay. Oh. That's okay. It's better. I mean... It's still interesting. Just, I, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still oppressed people turbo, huge yeah. revolution turbo. Of course, it's a, it's a different mechanism. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the what is the other mechanism for resolving huge revolution? I'm curious. Uh, voting the tyrant out of office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In this topic, praxis. Woo! All right, let's go. Woo! Okay. Whoa, gravekeeper! It's been aggressive. a while since we've seen this card. For some reason. Yes! We see yes! <laughs> so we go. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Brent's gonna be like, okay. fine, dark core, normal another element dragon. <laughs> well, normal another two element dragon sucks without another thing. <gasps> okay. Holy shit. Wait, this does it. Right? This does do it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just element dragon turbo. We're just turning dudes sideways out here. Let's go! <laughs> so stupid. How, Zero how spells. Both Zero players traps. have like five cards in hand. Every, each player know. has seven monsters in their hand. I, I think that's actually <laughs> what's happened, yes. And none of <laughs> Gavin's have any attack power. Let's go! This is so stupid. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, okay. it's it's immune to spell effects. <laughs> it's a dragon. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> you just you just like you made my heart skip a beat. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what do you pick? You have to pick. What I'll pick. I? I'll pick four. four. Yeah. I don't care. Oh my god! Let's <laughs> come go. On, come on. Oh, okay, okay. Good. oh you son. baby. There it is. Man. <laughs> oh, you Lee, should pick. Who are you calling the baby? Are you calling reasoning the I'm baby? I'm calling everyone in this interaction. A baby. By the way, reasoning is so fucking bad. What? Se- so bad. Brent, what the fuck is in your hand? That that was. The we fight? don't know Brent's list. We don't know Brent's list. Oh, thank it's God. Happening. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. So. Gavin's okay. All right, I will tell you. I will. I will tell you what is. You can fucking know what's in the hand. Jesus. Mm-hmm. God darn it! Ban that God card. Okay, the hand is. Hell yeah. In order. <laughs> Harpy's hunting ground. Yes. No. Nope. Nobleman of extermination. Okay. Harpy lady number one that they kept back. <laughs> Yeah. Nobleman of Extermination and Harpy's Hunting Ground. Wait, it's all mm. spell and trap removal and Gavin drew nine monsters. This is, it, this <laughs> is the... Correct. Can, can you imagine being Brent and being like, all right, I'll put in 20 pieces of spell and trap destruction and then Gavin's like, this week I'm playing 40 monsters after six <laughs> months. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I thought something like this was happening. Oh, oh Jesus. No. I forgot about Tsukiyomi. Yeah, she's good. She's okay. She's <gasps> good. Eat my ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, the golem. Mine. Okay. Crush. Right. Wow, you're going to get Very minus two. You're wow, get minus two. Right. Oh, smart. Just play all the yep. cards, yep. Brent. Yep. Play them. Just play them just all. Set <laughs> Wait, just set them all. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Call HHG, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Good job. Good luck, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. I do I do wanna I do wanna impart on people real quick. Harpy's Hunting Ground is a very powerful card that destroys spells and traps. It is also mandatory. So if you're the only one with spells and traps, you have to blow up your own. Oh my Whoa. god. Wait, he can All attack right. twice! He can attack twice! He can attack twice. Oh my god. Okay, well it doesn't it, it actually does not matter. He can't even attack at all. We'll send back uh the the Kamakiri, I suppose. This is such a cool deck. God damn it. <laughs> I mean uh, I mean I'm 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 nice. interested in what's going on. That's here. pot number so two. Playing, pot number two. Gavin's what? playing something with chaos. It seems we like saw golem. lava golem flipped. It seems like it's just chaos good stuff. We saw lava yeah. golem flipped. It's interesting it's the question is is that tech or is it part of the game plan? RP Lady One is not allowed in schools. Oh my gosh! One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. You you all couldn't play oh, with the censored four. art of this. You you want me to get demonetized here? Uh, <laughs> flying Kamakiri. Yeah. yeah. Number number. Yeah yeah. Ooh, you should have made him guess the number. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, that's oh, terrible. Oh my god. Oh, it has to destroy yeah. a monster by battle. Wait, this card is insane. Oh, it can't be normal. So, but it's never not mind. good because you have to set it first. Well, it, it's pretty yeah. Good well, right you here. can summon it by the effect. It's well, yeah. I mean, then you turn it up, and it's kind of sweet. Yeah, but like it's a nineteen hundred beater, right? Oh, Could this is a wild ass deck. deck. Unless Gavin has the Mystic Swordsman level six. Well, let's find which, out. Uh, okay. Well, no, I guess not. Another reasoning. Oh, uh, uh, I, I don't pick four. You know, there's like a level. You know, there's like a level twelve in this deck somewhere. <laughs> what, is, what if he what despairs is, from the dark? You come on. Oh shit! <laughs> to be I'm trying said. to go through my mental library at like what in the world I would pick. Enter the Leah zone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put on my Leah hat. <laughs> the cards that could be. Pulled off of reasoning are in this order: Horus, the Black Green Dragon, Level Six, the Spare from the Dark. I'll pick four. I'll pick four. I'm picking four. Yeah, well, correct. you know, yeah. it really, it, it do be four. Hey, bada bing, it be four. Hey, hey, bada bing. Hey, that was bada bing. so frustrating. Uh, I, I don't know. I would be mad because I Gavin know. classically plays oh. a lot of spell traps, but also oh. Gavin has twelve cards in hand. Anyone want to guess what I'm playing? <laughs> Anyone want to guess what I pulled no this week? No fucking way! What are do you think playing, I pulled this oh week? God. Are you playing <laughs> Ultimate Baseball Kid? You're no, correct. Oh, you fucking baseball idiot! Kid. Oh my god. Y'all are uncultured. Zero <laughs> culture whatsoever. These people are like, uh, Tyler, the creator, uh, I remember listening to Odd Future Wolfgang when I was 14 years old. <laughs> oh, I will say it was very ironic. I, I pull my opening oh, you're, hand. You're draw, fucked, Danny. You are I fucked. Five you're monsters. fucked. I, I'm sure I am. Because I drew the best card in my deck. Pot oh, cool. of Greed. Yeah, that's really fun. I just that's love three. this game. That's three. Pot of Greed, that's number three. three. Leah, do you have the band prepared? Do you have the gun <laughs> ready? To this little grimace's <laughs> head. I don't know. Harpy's hunting ground seemed very Shut powerful. the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I set Joe Biden in defense position. <laughs> Danny, I'm gonna fucking come. Wow, am I gonna come. First, I'm gonna activate Nobleman of Crossout, banishing your dumb ass monster. Oh, get them all out. Every single one. Get them all out. Thank God. Get them all out. Okay. Ever get them all out. Uh, okay, based on the cards in your deck, I can assume that the set card is. What the fuck is the set card? <laughs> it's all your bottomlesses, all your sacks. It's Book of Moon. All right, I, I can deal with Book of Moon. I just saw the viewing opponent's deck. All right, ready? <laughs> you thought you had uh -huh. the best card in your deck, but how are you going to beat 
pot of greed. No, that's four. No. That's, that's four. That's, that's four, baby. Four. All right. I have a little cinema skins counter that goes ding. Ding. Pot of greed is All right. Played. Next step, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh -huh. summon the creator incarnate, and with priority, I'm gonna activate his effect. I'm gonna summon the creator oh, okay. from my hand. <laughs> With priority, I'm gonna activate the creator's effect. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's really how it works? Uh, I don't know. Sure. Yes. Whatever. I mean, uh, I don't know how good. I don't know how good it is. Shut the fuck up, Gavin. Oh, I don't want to hear anything from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 1600, right? Yeah. I mean, are you attacking or not? Yeah. Are you attacking or not? I'm getting. I'm getting created all over here. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking create a better card game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create. Damn it! I, create I got the creator out, create. and it did fucking nothing. I'm uh, gonna normal summon Grandmaster Sasuke. What the Responds. fuck? This guy is too much attack. I, I'm gonna go to battle. I'm gonna attack. That's fine. I don't care. Nice. We got in there. I'm gonna set a card. I'm gonna end my turn. Hmm. We're like Dee's deck is outrageous. I'm gonna Crazy. activate DDC. So. <gasps> The, pur get? the purpose of DDC <laughs> was to find the creator. Uh, <laughs> but you may have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're on bullshit this week. <laughs> I'm not on bullshit. I think this deck is legitimately good. The creator is just my light target for like a normal chaos deck. And he's like decent. He has yeah. like a reasonable amount I mean, of attack. Yeah. No, no. All right. You can play the creator incarnate and the creator. And that's like the, that fulfills the role of shitty light package, except yeah. it like actually does something. Yeah. I mean, now that Sasuke has been printed, there's, there's, oh, no, the I'm, I'm playing Sasuke way too. less bad. We'll attack. It is merchant. All right. Bad card. Okay. Oh, really? Sure really good. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted, right. you fucking dipshit. <laughs> we'll set a card. We'll set another card, and we'll pass back. Okay. Oh! Let me look in my graveyard real quick for my monster reborn. Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? Why isn't the creator in my graveyard? I thought it was, it was bottomless, too. Like, the one thing that would make sure I it just know, never man. happens. You're going to be sorry when Joe activates... Uh, return from the different dimension yeah oh yeah wait so the creator can't be specialed from the graveyard but he can be specialed from the banished zone oh you're it makes oh, it... you're gonna get it yeah and we'll flip some in night assailant oh my fucking god just activate my body i, I guess so i mean that's what i, I want i don't I really want. i kind of want my body to stay in on the field alive yeah We'll summon Kaiku. Oh response. my! Oh my God! I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll attack with Sasuke. It's Dekoichi. Ooh, Dekoichi. Ooh, Pretty okay. good. All right. We'll Kaiku, attack. Good. Yeah. Did I pull no copies of Dekoichi? I hate my life. So dude. you can cut me um, off you have light dark, here. Dark mimic level one does the same thing. Yeah. Unless you're playing the Bakoichis. I am playing the Bakoichi. I'm playing nine Bakoichis. Let's go. Pass it back. So uh, I guess Dekoichi is a flip, draw one card, draw one additional card for each Bakoichi, the frightening card, his brother you control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is very funny because Bakoichi is god awful. But Dekoichi is really good because flip, yeah, draw a card is amazing. Good. And I then you could overlay into uh... Bakoichi. I'm going to normal summon Sasuke. Uh, I'm going to Premature Burial targeting Zombira. Uh, we're just going to try and clear the board here. We'll walk into Kaiku. Little Book of Moon. Sure. Uh, we'll walk into Kaiku. Saku. Damn. Anything? He's got a... Holy oh. fuck. <laughs> wow. That is a good one. Uh, thinking. Okay. What is in your deck? You've got Knight Assailants. You've got Kaiku Sasuke. Uh, I'm going to declare Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Sure. You got it, buddy. Oh, Woo! ready? Let's go. Double Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah. Very cool, uh -huh. Kaiku. Very cool, Kaiku. Oh, there. my God. How Haiku could how could the creator let good. me down? How could the creator let me down? How could the creator have left you down? 
Well, 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 a familiar sight. Danny, who has, I think, four weak wins under his belt, versus Gavin, who has 12. The two winningest <laughs> individuals uh, coming through this tournament, ripping through everyone playing creator, dragon, fun, interesting, synergistic decks to play a glacially paced, boring ass chaos mirror. Congratulations, <laughs> meta sheeple. Congratulations, no skill losers. I I'm excited to see chaos mirror. I mean, chaos mirror is actually a cool. Shut up, nerd! If you want to see a Chaos Mirror, go over to Nim Nim's channel. Oh, well, look at all those set cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of set cards. Would you look at that? That's, That's crazy. Three. One, That's two, insane. three. <laughs> Anything on I'm, I'm crying. No, no, no. You're I'm good sobbing. Go. Oh, wow. Three. Uh, 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 um, well, Pot of Greed. Five. That, Sorry. Five. That's it, Gavin. Oh, you can't no. win now. There have been too many oh. pots of greed. <laughs> this card's getting the in, fucking bullet. How do they always have pot of greed in their hand? This card is getting the bullet. It, it's been like the shadowy architect playing puppet games behind, like while we just take down everything else. <laughs> as soon as there's a format that's non-degenerately playable. Again, pot of greed has stuck around for so long because everyone has it. And it's fun to activate it when you do. It's just it's that, a real um, skill testing card. Yeah, it's very skill. A lot of interesting. So the last the last <laughs> Gavin Danny match was thirty five minutes long. So we're we're playing beat the clock here. All right, we have the exact same fields. It really do be a mirror. Ooh, it's interesting that. Okay, so here's down. here's the Mystic Ooh. Swordsman. I don't understand. Did did we'll Gavin it. not pull the card? Ooh, that's a good one. The idea is that this prevents any flip effects or recruiters Ooh. from happening. Sure. I imagine that's the idea. As like, doesn't have the six, but it doesn't really matter because the card is pretty good. And we do pass a lot anyway. I don't think there's any real reason to, to go into the six. I mean, if you have it in your deck, it's not bigger than four, right? I mean, Gavin would have gone into the six. He had the opportunity game. last it was game. very yeah. easy. Great yeah. card to get to for literally free. And he didn't. So I don't know if he was just trying to hide it. He had six, but I'm Gavin, are you slow not. rolling? Are you slow rolling level <laughs> six to roll, Danny? Sure. Okay. The spies are cool, but there's not like a sweet payoff for them yet. I mean, there might be uh, a monarch. Sure. Wow, that's wow. That doesn't such really a need to be a payoff. payoff. It's still, that's still really so good. epic. Oh, hilarious! That's Ninja right. Blevins, Tyler Fortnite. Oh my god. Oh, dueling spies. <laughs> Alright, how long do you think these spies are going to last? I'm saying 10 turns. I'm not thinking that long. Spy is very soft to Sasuke now, right? Everybody, both of them are running Sasuke, I imagine. Oh, I wouldn't imagine. But the real question is, are both of them running Naruto? That's so funny. The real question is, are they both running Neji? <laughs> the real question is, are they both running Goku? <laughs> are they both running Pikachu? While Danny's thinking about his turn, let's ruminate, as we always do when we have nothing better to do, on how fucking cool <laughs> Mystic Swordsman art is. It's alright. Oh, it's uh, so good. This art is actually amazing. This is the first time we've analyzed the art of something, and it was good instead of terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Can I make a bad joke? No. Okay. It's okay. I got you guys all protected. I will protect us from the bad jokes. I right, hit me, Danny. What's true, the joke? True. Yeah, it's a Mystic though. Swordsman is quite the edge lord. If you know what I'm saying. Go to battle. Yeah. We'll crash. Yeah, sure. his hat does have a lot of edges on it. Really pointy. Yeah. Uh, is Mystic Swordsman um, wearing a KKK hood? Oh god. Wait a second. Hmm, and, Hold up. And and Hold Leah up. said she loved the art. Something we should know, Leah. Listen, there's only one Nazi in this series, and I think we know who it is. Um Siberian. Come on, bro. I'll get tomato. Sure. Ooh. Okay. Declare priority. Okay. One of the most interesting things about Mystic in this situation is that, that he's an Earth. So his presence in the graveyard. Does it matter as much? I'm actually shocked to see Mystic getting an inclusion. We'll go for broke. So I went to, when I was a kid, I, I would go to Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals. And at my local hobby shop, there was this, like, 20, probably, like, 30-year-old dude. 
Um, and I remember like I had something that prevented targeting or like, you know, something that interacted and he was also the judge and he also won every week. So, hmm. And uh, he was like, smashing ground, smashing ground doesn't target, it targets the field. And I was like, yeah, well, that's targeting. He's like, well, no, it's not targeting a monster. So two things. One, he, he's right. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't target. No, I know. Like, I know he's right. It was just stupid. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, sure. that's really sweet here, actually. And two, you're saying he's the judge and he won every week, like, oh, he must have been cheating. But probably the person who knows the most obscure Yu-Gi-Oh! rulings should be winning every week. I mean, that's the game, am I right? Interesting. Ooh. Mystic to me, though. Sure. That's some okay, that's so a way to go. Guard get has some nice synergy with Mind Crush. Alright, I'm gonna say this one time, and it may or may not make it in. I promise I'm not uh, you know, just completely hentai brained or whatever. Smashing ground. It, the fist looks like a big veiny dick. Here I was thinking you were going to talk about Mind Crush, Joe. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it does, though, listen, right? I'm there's... not crazy. Listen, Joe, it's not Mind Crush. It's not Smashing Ground. There's only one card in this game that you can fetishize, and it's Mystic Tomato. I guess it's our prerogative as losers to call the winners we'll, nerds. We'll, the... we'll tempo out here. No, you will not. Wow. That's that's frustrating. I will. Oh, Ooh. this is such a hot my body. God damn it! <laughs> this would be a very good my body. Keep racking. Yeah, we'll book a boom my spy. Oh my god! Sure. Okay. Spy. Interesting. That's even cuter. Yeah. So now, so the so the major advantage of that is Danny doesn't have a light in the graveyard, so getting the sork bounced by the guard doesn't do too much for him unless oh, he right. has another light waiting in the wings whereas another spy i guess keeps him alive for longer to maybe draw another sork or just more stuff i mean it's it's not outside uh, it's still my of... turn right yeah, yeah it is uh it is still your turn it's yeah. not outside the realm of possibility that he has like a guard we saw both spies banished last game but there was never an opportunity to flip and summon a guard so if there's a guard in deck you know that could work my object permanence forgot about guard yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's a thing we don't know. Wow, sure. this is yeah. really just suking it up, boys. Sukiyomi, it's very good. You need two cards to deal we, with guard. You know what's funny is we really have not seen Sukiyomi um, do, do her thing like up until this point in the series because she's been outpaced by a lot of cards. But Sukiyomi really is insane. Hmm. Nobleman. That's a nice All one. Right. Ooh, wow, nice. and you get the rest All of right. them too, right? Yep. Oh wow. That's, um, I mean, that's, kind of, that's actually deck? that's actually really bad for Danny right now because they're all dead for Gavin. You ready for my hot take? Trap dust shoot is actually not only good the first turn. Trap dust shoot is very good at almost all stages of the game, especially when yeah, you're going to be yeah. artificially putting more cards back in hand, doing this Tsukiyomi Gravekeepers bullshit, and more importantly, taking the dust shoots out of the deck dra dramatically decreases the strength of mind crush especially if danny outs guard exactly this turn yeah uh, that's really interesting yeah it's very likely there's three mind crush in the list i don't think that's he was true. playing three mind crush last week mind crush is very much only okay in a scenario where you don't find trap dust shoot it ranges from like okay to just straight up bad so your options are either like i i have had the most success with a 3-1 package but i would you know i could be convinced otherwise yeah we bounce the we bounce the one we can't kill here oh and then we smash yeah. all right it's silly turns but it does Sukiyomi. do it yeah we can even it reset the spy i think this is really a good showcase of just how strong sukiyomi is that like she's drawing this level of like gameplay from danny to try and play around it because the ability to like recur flip effect wow. monsters is another really good example of just like just infinite advantage. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow, that's impressive. so crazy. I mean, I kind of disagree. Sukiyomi's really bad in scenarios like exactly this, right? Like, she doesn't accomplish much. She trades for Kaiku here, but spending your normal summon on her just literally kills you on the crackback. Sukiyomi's really, really the good when you've established, like, 
parody with a monster that has a flip effect like guard, but she's not very good at answering stuff. The reason she historically saw a lot of play was because Thousand Eyes Restrict was so strong, but that's not a consideration here. That's yeah. interesting. Well, I mean, she she's more copies. She's a repeatable Book of Moon. It's the kind of card that one copy of in your deck is extremely good, mm -hmm. but more copies tends to get bricky. Well, she's a repeatable Book of Moon, but of course the trade-off is you don't get your normal. And often these games are just decided by, like, whoever's normal's land. We'll see what Gavin has here. He's got a ton of stuff in hand. Um, I have to smash and ground just because of numbers. Ah. So now Gavin can summon Sook, trade with the Kaiku. In main phase two, oh, he doesn't even have a light. God, that's miserable. In main phase two, he can maybe find an out for the guard, but even so, he can put Danny on a, like, gotta have it extra monster in hand. Man, what is this What is this actual commentary nonsense that we're up to? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't... I just sort of... Riffing. I just sort of <laughs> turned it on today. Uh, I mean, PPP pee, pee, yeah, pee, 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 Yeah, I will. I like it. This is the okay. line. I have to take. You just got yeah. it. Does he have it? I mean, he's on a low monster count. Oh, well. Yeah. All right. Wow. 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 That Whoa. was a... So, Gavin, Whoa. I figured you were... GG's, Gavin. I figured you were stranded with Chaos one. Guys in hand. Oh, God, you just didn't have a good turn for Magical <laughs> Merchant, huh? Uh, yeah. I just wow, drew it, yeah. Oh, uh, you just drew it, yeah, yeah. That'd be a great one. Wow, that was, that yeah. was actually pretty interesting. That was an amazing game. Well, we're back where we belong, losing in the first round. Uh, I guess I'll be in the playoff match next week. Uh, we found out post-recording that, in fact, not only did I pull the creator, four people pulled the creator, and everyone else resisted his call. I guess I'm <laughs> the only idiot who wants to resolve the creator. Well, outside of that, we, we do have some bands to go for. We've got two individuals, uh, both on really fun, interesting Dragon Wind variant decks, both of whom got their shit wrecked by Chaos. But I think that this format has been, I we were talking about, largely decent. It's been not terrible to play, not awful to commentate. It's been fun to look at. There are decisions that are being made. You know, it's it's different than almost every other week. And of course, before we get to banning, a big, amazing round of applause for Danny for his, I think, fifth win. This is your fifth fucking win. How I many is this? I, I think it's fourth, but I don't know. Oh, Jesus I mean, Christ. Like, uh, I think I got finals one week and I got three wins. So this, I think this is my official fourth, but that's you've, you've just got off a 75% win rate in finals. <laughs> how, do we, how do we ban you? Yeah, I guess. I, I was on, remember, yeah, folks, course. I was on like a seven losing streak. I banned like every card for I a while. I do remember this. All right. Well, speaking of banning, uh, let's start with Brent. Brent, what card would you like removed from the format? Pot of Greed. How could this happen? Hell yeah. How could this happen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. How could this happen to yeah. us? Uh, I'm tired of getting outdrawn by two pot of greed, greedy chunguses with my only one. Yeah, um, I don't know if like the two to one thing matters a ton. Definitely, what matters I mean, is like, if you draw it, you it, win, it, which sucks. Yeah, it, it, it still stinks to just like watch your opponent just go into pot of greed and maybe like go into another pot of greed. <laughs> Uh, glad we got it out of the way. It's been a scourge on the side of this format since day one, and, uh, certainly we are better off without it. Leah, do you have a ban? Uh, so, very happy to see Pot go. I think we are, we've really removed a lot of the cards that make me go, huh, from the format. Um, uh, it's a, it's a tough one this week. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I got to do what I got to do, and I am one of the only people, in fact, the only person in the pool of all the players who does not have access to this deck in any meaningful way. So my ban will be Chaos Sorcerer. Lame. All right. Lame. Excellent. Chaos. Excellent. I, I'm really happy to hear I, that. I own one copy of Chaos Sorcerer, and everybody else pulled, like, BLS or some shit like that. And, you know... Brent can still play BLS. 
Yeah, Brent gets to stay on BLS. Yeah, Brent, you you're keeping you're keeping my dark hole, Leah. I was so surprised that wasn't gonna get hit. Oh, Who has man. BLS? Yeah. Shut up. Well, I yeah. mean, yeah, Danny's dark, dark hole, hole lives another week. <laughs> Yeah, Danny kind of did uh, cheat through Dark Hole. But if I'm being honest, um, uh, my win percentage relative to the whole field, very much uh, Chaos Sorcerer is by far the strongest possible ban. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, Chaos Sorcerer was pretty much going to be good until the end of time. Uh, it did actually end up on the ban list. Uh, it's been moved around a lot. And it's not like they stopped printing good light and dark monsters, right? Like... They still print good cards that are Chaos Sork adjacent. <laughs> so rather than suffer through 45 formats of wanting to play the cool Dragon Monarch deck and having to look at Chaos Sork and remember that his effect is broken out the ass, I'm glad you've hit it so we can now all play Creator Turbo. The Creator remains legal for yet another week. <laughs> yeah, I, I think yeah. Uh, the Creator may be the victim of a... Not a community ban, but a community cancellation. Folks, we're canceling the creator here today uh, on account of the fact that he sucks shit. And he's fucking terrible. <laughs> he has some pretty problematic tweets, and also he fucking sucks. He's bad. Uh, that's going to be it from us. Um, next week we are opening. Does anyone know? Ooh, uh, it is out. the last, if I recall correctly, dual monster set. What? Uh, no way! No way! Flaming Eternity. What's Flaming the set Eternity. after that? Lost, Lost Millennium. Millennium. Oh my god! So next week is going to be our last game in Duel Monsters. I'm I'm glad we yeah, got pot so, right before it ended. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Joe, I have to ask you: Are we doing anything interesting for the end of Duel Monsters as an arc? You know, that is so interesting, Leah, that you asked me. I appreciate you postulating that question to me. I am happy to announce that to celebrate the end of Duel Monsters, we will be playing an episode of Progression Playoffs live. It is going to be played live with input from Twitch chat viewers, which I'm sure will be <laughs> indispensable. And what's more... <laughs> We will be removing cards from the ban list in order to play it. So all of you who wanted to see what could happen when we had access to the entire pool will get your little wish. And then you can all shut up in the comments section forever. Because for some reason you want to see Spear Creighton Firewall looped again. Yeah, like everyone's like, no, we have to see the really cool shit that's enabled by all the sweet monsters. Have you looked at the list? It's all just stun nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good discussion. All right, uh, we Incredible. will see you next week for Flaming Eternity, and then uh, we're we're moving to GX, baby. I'm I'm playing Cyber Dragon. Bye.